Greetings, welcome to another edition of Into Everything. Uh, today I'm going to talk about inserting what I call a helicoil into uh, an aluminum engine block that I accidentally stripped the hole uh, on uh, during an engine reassembly. Some of you may have watched that video, hopefully you have, if you're interested in uh, engine rebuilds. Um, in this particular video, I discuss the use of what's called the helicoil which is there's a number of companies that make these type of helicoil devices for thread repair. So when I mentioned helicoil, that's really just a, and it encompasses a wide variety of, of different products. So I'm not endorsing any product with this video. I also mentioned where I purchased my particular helicoil kit and I'm not endorsing any particular automotive store either. So, um, and I also realized that there are a number of other YouTube videos that discuss helicoil uh, thread repair. Um, I didn't find one that had application to an aluminum engine block, so I feel this is uh, worth the submission. Anyway, um, hope it's successful for you, and uh, talk to you soon. In putting in um, <clears throat> one of the bolts that holds on the, um, the chain guide for the, for the oil pump chain, that hole got stripped even though I took the, torqued the bolt down to specs with the wrench that I had, uh, it actually stripped the aluminum out of there. So I don't know how well you can see, but the threads inside that hole are pretty much gone. So I need to drill that out and put, um, I'm gonna put a helicoil plug in there and, um, and then insert the original bolt again. So but what I had to do was, so that I don't get metal shavings all over the engine, I kind of got some, um, some masking tape and tied that to some grocery bags. So that when I'm drilling in this hole, as the uh, as the metal flakes come out, they're not going to be um, contaminating the engines. And I'm going to use a quarter inch uh, drill bit, and let's see the helical kit that I got. This is a six millimeter bolt. So if you can read that, it says M6. Um, so here's the kit. Throw the little helical. Uh, helicoils and then the, uh, the tap and then the special tool to, uh, to hook into the helicoil to screw it in so this is the kit that I bought it was $30 and I probably could have avoided this situation by purchasing uh, an inch pound torque wrench which I did not have and so I actually had to buy one of those because I don't want this to happen again so I've got a more sensitive torque wrench for the smaller bolts and again the aluminum block you got to be careful with that got the quarter inch drill bit that i need to uh to bore out that hole that i stripped so um, what i do is i just put a piece of uh, masking tape on here the approximate depth that i need to drill so this is the screw that needs to go back into the block and so I've got tape here. I don't need to go in any further than that. So I just drilled it in and I stopped when I hit the um, tape here. So that should be a deep enough hole with this quarter inch bit. I'm gonna back it out. I'll try to put the helicoil in. So here we have two of the pieces that came with the helicoil kit. The black piece uh, serves to torque on the, um, the tap and then uh, the other end of that's used to actually push the helicoil inside the uh, the tapped hole. And so what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and stick the tap inside the hole and turning clockwise, we will cut a brand new thread and then we'll back it out uh, when we need to to get rid of some of the filings. So that's the general procedure. Going clockwise with it already as far as it could go until I'm at some resistance. And now I'm backing it back out so you can see all the metal filings that are coming from uh, the block because this uh, this tap is doing its job. So, well, we got some threads on there now. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know how well you can see in there, but it looks like you got some nice threads in there to uh, hold the helicoil in. So obviously I'm going to clean all that out. Now I'm going to be using this um, 
helicoil tool. I've got the helicoil here. Uh, let's see if we can focus. So you can see there's like a, there's a tab on here that needs to insert in this groove to get inserted so that 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 tang is actually the first thing that goes into the block. So I'm gonna take this and um, with the new threads that I have, let's insert that helicoil turning clockwise. I've got the helicoil itself inserted. Let's see, let's just see what that looks like. Uh, it looks just looks like normal threads in there now, doesn't it? If you look deep enough in here, you can see there's that little tang that goes across the hole. Um, that needs to be bent into the hole with this tool. Uh, so I'm going to use to position this so that it sits across the tang, uh, and then just kind of shove it in. According to the instructions, I'm supposed to just kind of tap it in. So the idea is to kind of bend that tang in toward the engine so that doesn't interfere with the bolt that's going in there. Okay, so I theoretically should have this hole fixed. Uh, you can see the helicoil in the top one and the regular threads in the bottom one, which still seems to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and install the um, chain guide here. And uh, I do have an inch pound torque wrench now that I can use to make sure that I don't torque down too hard. So here's a picture of the uh particular chain guide that I was trying to install when I had this bolt stripping issue. I know this is a distorted image. It's not your vision gone bad. Um, so you can see that orange piece there. That's the guide. And there were two bolts that went in there. It's the top bolt that ended up, I ended up stripping the threads on. And so after installing the helicoil, I was able to torque that down the specs and it held just fine. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I wish you the best in your helicoil thread repair attempts and um, take care.